Hallo Kameraden und willkommen zu mein Video. I have to apologize to any German listeners because I've almost certainly got something wrong there. <laughs> Hello, this is Reach with the Sky. And today's video is going to be about the Eisenseite, or the Ironside, the BF-110. Now, the Eisenseite is what um, Hermann Göring referred to the BF-110 as. He was a real fan of this aircraft. He liked its heavy, power, heavy firepower, its um, sturdiness. It was basically like um, a flying Blitzkrieg plane. Very tough, heavy, big battering ram that would smash into the enemy and push on onto victory. It was like the Blitzkrieg of the air, but in reality um, it struggled against the RAF, the Spitfires and Hurricanes in particular. It had great success in the Battle of France um, against the French Air Force, but when the pilots tried to engage in uh, dogfights with the Spitfires and Hurricanes, uh, they found its maneuverability to be lacking. and Many, many were shot down. Droves of them were shot down, so they were quite quickly re re removed from service. In that particular theatre, anyway. Um, but they later found great success as night fighters against the RAF, particularly Bomber Command, against Wellingtons and Lancasters and so on. Especially um, later modifications which were fitted with even heavy armament and um, sh Schrager music, Schrager music, basically uh, upward firing um, weapons in the back here where you see the single 7.92 that was often replaced with twin 20 mils um, so the aircraft could fire upwards into the belly of bombers and they didn't know it was there so that was, uh, that was the Schrager music tactic. And various modifications were made to the front armament. Uh, MK-103, MK-108 gun, gun pods, um, various cannons and radar installations. Radar installations? No, they didn't, they didn't stick an entire radar dish. You know, a 40-foot radar dish onto the front of the plane. That's me being silly. Uh, they put on... I can't remember the name of it. Those, you know, the um, night radar for, you know, scanning, scanning the skies and finding the enemy planes. There we are. Apologise for not researching that particular fact, but nobody's perfect, apart from me. I'm joking. <laughs> so the BF110, in game, well, in game, it's it's often overlooked. People look at it and they and they they think, oh, look at that thing. It's basically a bomber, a bomber with guns. It must fly like an absolute pig. Um, that's actually not true. It turns very well. Um, especially if you use the keyboard to operate the elevators. It turns very tightly, too tightly in fact. Um, the flight model's got a few issues. It's not very realistic. Or broken, as some people would like to phrase it. It's broken It's broken in good ways and bad ways for the people flying it. So, good ways. the good ways are it turns quickly and it accelerates well. But I'd, I can't comment on the historical acceleration, so I'll stick to the uh, turning circle. But yes, it's broken in bad ways because it's a... It's what's known as a flying air brake, this plane. If you even touch the rudders, these bright yellow things on the end of the plane, um, your speed will... you will stop accelerating, or you'll lose a little bit of speed. If you really waggle the uh, the rudders, if you really move them around, you'll start to reduce in speed quite dramatically. And it's possible in a dive to... I think this is the only plane in-game where you can lose speed in a vertical dive. If you move the control surfaces about enough, the speed will, in fact, reduce. So yeah, <laughs> it's a bit of a strange plane in that regard, but it's very powerfully armed if you look here. It's got twin MG FFM cannons with 180 rounds each. That's triple the ammo you get on the E3's cannons. And these are better because of the slash M, which means they can take mining gashos, which is a basically specially designed hollowed out shell with an um, even more explosive charge. Very powerful. And it's got four MG17 rifle caliber machine guns. Now they're not particularly impressive. But they have a high rate of fire, and they're all grouped under the nose, so even when you run out of cannon ammo, you can do some damage. And it's got a nice little uh, sweet at their rear turret, so you can have a go at people behind you. Not very reliable, though. So yes, it's well armed. It manoeuvres well. Um, the roll rate is a little lacking, but the actual turning, especially at low speed, is good. But you do bleed off a lot of speed in any kind of manoeuvres. It's a lot like the Stuka in that regard turns well but you pay for it in speed. So overall, for its battle rating 2.0, tier 1, 
it's an often it's an often overlooked little gem, I think. It's one of my most played events. Events? Plane. It's one of my most played planes. I'd love to see someone take an event up into the air and fly it around. <laughs> yes. Um and so, yes, as you may have guessed from the title, today's video concerns this plane. And I'm going to be taking it up with a friend of mine, Skelligator. I'm going to attempt to do some uh, air to air combat in a successful manner with our BF 110 C4s. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, I'm back and I'm with my friend Skelligator. Hello! Hello, I'm yes. Skelligator from the Proto Cake 737 channel. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How Shameless dare you advertise yourself? Shamelessly advertising. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, we're here with our BF 110s. No, we're not both uh, inside the same plane. No, it was fun, not, sort of. Yeah. That'd be hilarious, but no, it's not going to happen. Well, we're on the Battle of the Bulge, which is 1944, flying 1940 planes. Rah. Alright. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't come into existence yet. There we go. Ah, ah, hello. <laughs> I've got a desert camo on a winter map. I'm off to a brilliant start. I have a, I think I have a sort of winter-esque camo. Yeah, you've got the winter one. I yeah. haven't. Ah. We've got okay. wheels off the ground. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, there we go. Alright, well, someone's already got their flares on, how nice. Ah, yes. Ah. Got a, um, these aren't really historically accurate planes for this time period, really. No, the era doesn't really match the map. <laughs> we've got G50. <laughs> A, a famously brilliant game <laughs> in this time period. Famously mediocre in-game. And someone's calling me on Skype. Go away. Wonderful timing. You're not Is it me? No, it's not you. <laughs> it was someone wanting, asking if I wanted to play Water Thunder. Sounds like me. Oh, ah, yes. Right, let's see where we are here. We are... We've come about two kilometres. Very exciting. Ah. And an enemy has already crashed and killed himself. Time for the uh, traditional reply. Where are we here? There we go. <laughs> Brilliant! Well, they're a plane down, which means we have a slight increase in chance of victory. Indeed. And that's entirely our our fault. Hmm. This, is, this must be riveting footage for the viewers. I know. I, I, bet, the, I bet the viewers are just trembling with excitement. Oh yeah. Incredibly fast planes mm. over the barren landscape. Ah yes. Once again I'm struggling to tell whether it's an enemy plane or a speck of dirt on my screen. Maybe both. If it moves, it's probably a speck of bug. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new bloody screen. This thing climbs pretty well for a brick. Yes. But as soon as you touch the rudder, whoa, whoa. The flying, air, the flying air brake syndrome comes into effect. <laughs> air brake simulator, 2014. <laughs> Stupidity simulator. Uh, a tactical whip at the moment. Yeah, I'm just whipping and whipping and whipping. Whip engaged. Power domain thrusters. <laughs> Let's see if I got my. Ah, I'm getting into the cloud layer now. Yes. It hides us, but it also hides the enemy. There are many clouds. Our pilots have their head in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Never make a joke again. <laughs> I'm famous for my bad jokes, don't do you? <laughs> you of all people should know that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do. Yes. Yeah. Just like this bad joke that we're flying now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look out, Skipper, we've got bad jokes at 3,000 metres. <laughs> oh god, they're coming in fast. <laughs> oh no, sarcasm, get down. Ah. Right, we're almost at the middle of the map, so we should start seeing some bandits soon. <laughs> we are against the Americans, which is annoying, because the low tier Americans are very good. Most of them are anyway. Silver R planes, obviously. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, uh, don't want to get done for heresy. Our planes are extremely good. I do like our planes. I do like the one too. Yeah, jokes aside, it is a great little plane. It's often overlooked. Oh, hello. I think I found one. 
Where? Oh, no, that's one of the B-17s, which oh, is yeah. the AI. I'm not going to be taking on a B-17 in this thing, thank you very much. Yeah, it's quite an interesting opponent to have in a Tier 1 game. It is, yeah. This is the closest thing to having something that can actually shoot them down, that even then it falls a little short mm. of being up to the task. Maybe a late model one that's got one of those giant gun pods stuck to it. Mm. However, they don't exist in the game yet, so... Grr. Yes. So much doesn't exist. Gajin! Make it happen. I don't exist. Oh, P36. So it's right, let's see what kind of P36. Uh, I'm guessing the P36. It's an A, so it's the, it's the worst one. Ah, lovely. And, oh, and, and an F4. A wildcat over there. Um, you don't need to point out everything. Yeah, that 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 that, that lights up the end the plane for the enemy, uh, for the friendlies. For, I think they already know where they are. Well, the ones behind us, I haven't spotted him yet. I think I'm doing it head on with this B36. Yes, I am. Ah, that's going to end horribly. For him. Or you. Bastard. I think he accidentally avoided my shots then, which is quite lucky for him. <sighs> what a bad... Oh, P26 is mine. P shooter. But then again, there is a... P That's the one. Oh, he's lost all his speed, just like me. I'm wallowing around like a pig with wings. Are you going to get him? Maybe. His propeller stopped. Or is stopping. Oh, Ooh. well done. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Look at him in. fall. Well, you're what after a there? good start. I am, actually. That's very Better start than me. What's wrong? <laughs> I never do well in historical battles. Yeah, just because the cameras are rolling, you suddenly turn into bloody Eric Hartman. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Yeah, what can you say? I don't know. <laughs> Words. <laughs> your guns speak louder than your mouth. Decker. As you've already pointed out. This P-26 is taken a lot more punishment than it should be able to. Yeah, well, you know. They were well, designed by Re Roosevelt himself. Oh. In my With imagination. Lendley Stalinwood from the Soviet Union. Yes. 26 is a very Russian number. It I is. don't Ooh, know why, yo. but it is. I'm going to dive into this fur ball down here. <laughs> With my flying air brake, I can... Oh, oh, for goodness sake. My friend, the friendly see me coming and suddenly decide to stop messing around and kill them all. Yep. Hang on a minute. Welcome to War Thunder. There's still one down there, and he's not dead. How dare he be alive? <laughs> all right, let's kick some ass. Bastard. Here we go. Here, ooh, here we go. Ooh. Decker. Taste my steel. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ah. There goes his wing. He won't be needing that anymore. Lovely. Oh, a PBY. Oh, no. Not with Catalina. Nom 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 Where is he? Uh, T oh, or... There, <laughs> there he is. He's mine! Mine, I say! Unless that HG-51 steals him from me, which is highly unlikely. I feel really sorry for biplane pilots that get put into <laughs> these... Apart from Chikas, because they're just stupidly good. Chikas are OP at tier 5. I know. Chika versus an F-80C, well, it's obviously who's going <laughs> to win. Oh, yeah. The Chika isn't really a human design. No, well, it's it's Russian, so... It's a Russian. Fosco fuel. God, that PBY must be breaking the speed of sound by now. Look yeah. at him go. I think he's being flown by a Frenchman as well. FR. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a rammer, apparently. This could go badly. Yeah. Oh, B-17s are overhead. <laughs> What's that? Oh, buffalo. Right, I'm gonna have to give up on the Catalina and engage this buffalo that's heading towards me. You've critted him, apparently. Yep. I can just about see him. He seems to be going in a downward direction. He's going in. Is he the one without landing gear? Oh, really? You've got an assist for that? Oh, oh. sorry about that, mate. Ah, fuck you, HG112B. <laughs> yes, that's me on my secondary computer. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a laptop here son next to a, me. You son of a bitch! <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now I better not crash into this other 110. Damn, this buffalo. This is fast for a four legged beast. This damn buffalo. Excuse me. Did he just apologise for stealing yes. your kill? <laughs> He's still a bastard. <laughs> oh. Nobody steals my kill and gets away with it. God, look at the speed drop as soon as the rudders move. Let's see what humorous line comes when I press well done. 
I've got a British guy flying my plane. Mm. But you really need to add national voices. I do. I mean, World of Tanks finally got there. I know, yeah. After three years. When the World of Tanks is out developing you, you know you need to speed up yes. a little bit. Yes. Subhan. Subhan, I apologise for naming and shaming you. Mm. Oh, but well. for all we know, he can leave a publicity at the moment. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ironically, he's also filming a video. <laughs> And can somehow hear what we're saying. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, for goodness sake, this guy's just getting further and further away. So, Han, we expect at least half the profits each. <laughs> Give me all your monies. Mm. So, is it any doubt when we platoon up and join a game that we get a landslide victory? Um. Don't I'd say. Like don't, say no, don't, but... don't, don't, don't say no. <laughs> oh. Or I'll have to kill you. What's shooting at me? Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, it's the ground. Oh, it's the ground vehicles. Ah, I see. Good ah, point. this guy is just getting further and further. Oh, he's flying for his airbase. Oh, that, that. Oh, go away, ground units. No one likes you. <sighs> dear, oh dear, old tree. Whoa. That's a bit risky. Uh, if I didn't have air-to-air -air rounds loaded, then I'd take out his armored cars. But yeah. Oh, their second-to-last plane has just crashed. Ah, lovely. Third-to-last plane. Wow, this thing can wet for a long time. Mm. Much longer than the 109. Wait, when he crashed, you forgot to do your line. You know, oh, I'll do shit. it for you. Well done. So oh, mine, mine's American. Ah, what is this madness? Well, well. <laughs> this is a self preservation society. <laughs> <laughs> Go wash your German bed and fuck race too. You know what I can do every time I kill someone? What? I can press this button. That was easy. Ah, yes. <laughs> I could see that becoming a trend <laughs> later in my videos. I can't see that becoming a trend, indeed. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> I require one of those buttons. Really humiliate the enemy. Oh, they're both over here. They're both their planes. Ooh. Come to the airfield, there are treats awaiting you. I'm about 7.5k K away, but... Oh, hello, F4F. Doing your head on with a wildcat. That could go incredibly badly. But there is a HE-112 V5 with me. Oh, well, that Armed makes all... with twin 7mm machine guns. Ah, well, <laughs> that makes all the difference. Probably firing the stock ammunition belt, which, if I remember ball correctly, ammo. fires ball ammunition. Which is so good for shooting at dummies. Mm. So good for shooting at nothing. Right, I have to deal with these naughty triple A's before they kill me. They could kill Killing you, me probably. softly. Fly softly and carry a big gun. Mm. Damn. To the town of our Frida rode a stranger one fine day. <laughs> didn't talk to those around him, didn't have too much to say. Oh shit. This video has been flagged for copyright. Bam! Oh. Nice. Was that the last guy? Second to last. Ah, curses. He's the last guy then. He's just landed. Bastard. And now the triple A's going at me. Ooh! I'm gonna go for the triple A. Tree, tree, tree! No, no! No! That was stupid of me. Tried to get the triple A before it got me, and I didn't notice a gigantic forest. Ah. Which suddenly sprouted up. <laughs> With Groo, the wonder tree grower. <laughs> well. <laughs> That was an anti-climax. Actually, uh, it's probably quite a climax with a pilot crashing into a tree. Yep. Well, let's, yeah. let's see how you're getting on, shall we? Oh, you made it to the airbase. Oh, oh. shit! <laughs> you know what the AAA team is thinking? That was easy. <laughs> well, uh, I'm very sorry, our, our viewing several, our ladies and gentlemen, that we've uh, we've, we've, we've we've failed the Führer. <laughs> Ah, he will oh. not be pleased. And I'm just watching this G50 sitting here with a destroyed propeller. Which is ah. where it belongs, really. But are we going to win? Oh, they've lost all their planes. Excellent. Ah, we win! Victory for the fatherland! But no, we didn't plan this game just so we'd, we'd win it. We're not that bad. Well, We've, well, well, actually. It is entirely likely that we are that bad. Fighter destroyed Victory the most is ours. Tree killer destroyed the most trees. <laughs>
Well, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed our dual, extreme, anti-plane destroying combat. That was a bit lengthy, wasn't it? It was. Well, I hope to see you soon, and uh, hopefully we'll have Skelligator on board again in the future. Indeed. It's been a pleasurable experience, apart from the tree crash, hmm. and the surgical removal of Skelligator's wing. It did hurt quite a bit, but... <laughs> I felt it from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, it was thank rather painful. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. Bye.